the rainy weather did not deter these workers from chanting and shouting their demands in front of the head office of the health ministry while waiting for the secretary to receive the petition. The situation almost got out of control when the minister was seen driving out without addressing the workers who then decided to block his car. The workers retreated only after the union intervened. The workers claim the ministry has not been providing them with proper cleaning materials for the past five years and they also did not receive any overtime payments since April this year while uniforms are disappearing. We are really concerned of what is happening at our ministry. And it seems that we are ignored. But if, we, if you ignore us, then things might turn otherwise. Our voice will go on being raised because we are not satisfied the way we are treated. The workers also call for the removal of the contracted cleaning company and the money be used to buy cleaning materials. Late last month, the two parties held a peaceful demonstration and handed over a petition to the Katutura Hospital Management, but no one received their petition. This has now led to a second demonstration at the headquarters of the ministry demanding for the permanent secretary to receive their petition. However, Maumbola took a while to come out of his office to receive the petition. It's going to take us a while to study this one. If we can get uh, 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 an opportunity uh, 14, 14 days for us to study and understand. Uh, there are things that are not going to be done over time. They are those who are going to be done uh, as fast as we can, but uh, we will be studying the petition and then we'll come back to you with a, our position. The union further stated that if they do not get a response to their demands from the ministry within two weeks, they will take action. Selima Henok, NBC News, Ventuk.